Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Borg. In today's video, we'll be doing a summon session on the ReZero by Epic7 collab. Don't forget to sub and drop a like for the algorithm. I appreciate you being here, but let's go ahead and cover a few things before you jump right into there. And that's going to be my heroes. I know like mostly I'm covering like Princess Connect content, but I just wanted to showcase like my roster. You can see here, I definitely put some skills into Seaside, Bologna, Angelic, Montmorency, Crimson, Armin, and then I had Lighter, Maya, I had Apocalypse, Ravi. I have like so many different characters, little bad guy. I just wanted to like show a brief overview of my account because I know some people are wondering like, Bork, you talk about Epic 7, you talk about all these different gotchas. Did you actually play? Yeah, I actually did a write up on Hurado back in the day. You can check it on my Reddit profile, but I actually really like Epic 7. It's one of my favorite gotcha games ever. If you're wondering why I'm no longer playing it and stuff, it's mostly because I like Princess Connect. And when it comes to Epic 7, I would spend way too much money trying to do like all the summons because I love the design of Epic 7. So thankfully I budget myself in Princess Connect, but I have no budget. I have like no control when it comes to games like this. And then I had to come back when I saw the ReZero collab and I just have to do like some summons on this. So let's go ahead and get started and do our first multi right here. It's so weird to do a multi because I remember back in the day, you couldn't even do multis. I think I'm pretty sure you could only do like singles when I was still playing. So here it is. What are we going to be getting? Who is is this i've never seen this character before ian he looks kind of cool I like how he has armor and stuff are you doing like a voiceover right now i can't hear what you're saying dude okay next there we go <laughs> hi my name's ian and this is a really long introduction and i can't hear you but there is the introduction right there oh we got like a normal card right here the grail of blood i remember seeing that card quite often my goal here is just to get a bunch of characters oh i remember kiris she was like the poison queen are we still using her all right we got a four star right here what is this gonna be turnus that looks pretty nice all right we get something else we get another card right here what is this gonna be oh i remember daydream droker i think it was like used with lorena back in the day that's what i personally used it for like when it comes to like relevancy for any cards in particular i am completely blind what is this gonna be this is gonna be oh i remember this guy this is terranor guard i remember he was like always doing like defense breaks or he was always doing like the dual attacks you would like trigger it whenever he does a dual attack he would do a defense break i don't know if he's being used either but it's just like a really huge nostalgia trip because this is like my first time formally jumping back into epic 7 since like two or three years ago whenever like i played this game so there's my first multi right there we got eternus let's go ahead and jump back and reset the luck we got some mileage right there very nice and we'll probably do some ml summons because i do have some ml summons from like you know the actual mailbox thing i'll probably claim those afterwards all right what is this okay no gold here so i don't see anything very fruitful coming from this one. Ooh, neminas and i think one of like her faces you could see like her eyes which was really cool we're just gonna go ahead oh we got cartusia we're gonna power through these okay we got two right there and do we need anything from here no not really all right let's go ahead and jump into the shops and we'll do some summons again all right we're back we got a couple summons left let's go ahead and keep it going yes i'm summoning for rem personally because i am more of a rem person completely understandable if you like amelia much better because i feel like every single waifu in re-zero is absolutely amazing all right looking from that we did not get anything let's go ahead and reset the luck we got some mileage again this like moonlight summon is going to be pretty decent overall i think all right what are we going to be getting here okay we got like the little shinies hopefully this is a new character oh we got clarissa yeah she was a classic back in the day let's go ahead and just click through it oh we got something i think this is a card though five star card this is something that i already have oh it's rem's actual card what does this do increase critical chance when somebody dies yeah i don't know why rem is like all about like someone passing away but it sort of makes sense from like the anime since we all know what subaru like goes through if you're spoiled by like the re-zero like comment i just made i don't think you watch re-zero because in like the first episode he dies so sorry if i spoiled you on the re-zero anime but i highly recommend it definitely one of my favorite anime of all time are you making me watch all of these is this gonna be a new one because they only make me watch something if there's a new one. Ooh, she looks helen all right hi helen you're gonna do your entire monologue and she is a cry 
crybaby apprentice of the Dragon Knight whose luck is her greatest weapon. You know, luck is a pretty powerful weapon indeed, and luck is not something I really have when it comes to Epic 7. I'll tell you that much, all right? Like compared to like Princess Connect, my luck is nowhere near like to the level it is on Epic 7 because the reason why I personally quit on Epic 7 was I did a summon session for ML Araminta when she first came out and the Mystic Summon Pity was not around yet. And when I summoned for her, I spent so much money. It was at least like $300 or something crazy like that. Also, this guy looks pretty cool. He's like a vigilante three star. I like the two toned hair. But yeah, I went so crazy trying to summon for ML Araminta and it burned me so bad. Like it left me like one of the most sour taste I've ever had in my gotcha experience and I was like, I'm not playing this game anymore. Oh, Coley, I remember her. Do I have Assassin Coley or Coley? All right, let's go ahead and jump back. I feel like the luck is sort of warming up for Epic 7. Got 173, so three more multis right here, but it's so cool just to see like, how far the game has come because I remember when you first started playing Epic 7, the days were not exactly the brightest, but now Epic 7, it definitely has to be like one of the best gotchas in the industry right now with all of the support and all the giveaways, not to mention there's like a free moonlight that I probably need to like pick out. I'm most likely gonna be getting ML Vildred because he's like the moonlight that I feel like is the most useful. But then again, ML Ken was the character who was like so strong when I first started in the game. Oh, Judith, I remember her. All right, can we click through these? Is there something new? Okay, we got another Azure comment right there. So we're probably gonna get the dupes of that. I wanna see the one character on the right-hand side float in. Oh, we got Akati's, very nice right here. And we got the Sierra Ren. I remember I just like dumped those. Is this still useful? Let's go ahead and just keep going with this summon session. Here's gonna be our last pull from this one. And then essentially we're probably gonna be hitting Pity. So I was hoping not to hit Pity. So we got 30 more summons until we get Ren and the Azure Comet. I'm pretty sure, like, I guess Rem, the Azure Comet is her name. So let's go ahead and buy three of these. And then let's go ahead and jump back. And that'll like finish us off with like the summon session. I'm really happy even if I have to pity Rem because seeing Rem, like the way they translated her into this game, absolutely phenomenal. Like I feel Epic 7 did a fantastic job just re-envisioning how ReZero should look. Oh, is this the one? Is it? Is it? Oh, very nice right there. Rem, we hit you before we got the pity. The calm and competent younger twin maid. I'm the maid at Roswald's mansion. Very, very nice here. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Looking forward to getting to know you too in the Epic 7 sort of scene. And yeah, that is really hype right there. We got a couple of summons left. I'm hoping, well, I don't want to be greedy. I do want to see like Amelia. And I do, I, I'm not going to be jumping back into this game like fairly often. I'm only going to be here because of the the collab because like it's so unique it's just a crazy situation have you seen melanie she better not be picking on helen well helen's pretty lucky she brought me the luck and got me rem so definitely appreciate her all right we got some summons here pretty sure i reset the pity i have 116 summons left here this is why i don't play epic 7 man because i was just like man i love this character art and i need them it was one of those things where i would just go way too crazy head and get these galaxy bookmark summons let's do some moonlight summons before we jump into the amelia banner if we get something like from the moonlight summon i feel like i'm done like i should call it quits but we, if we get nothing because you know moonlight summons there's always like some crazy thing when it comes to luck right here okay we got a three star okay who is this she looks cool i'm assuming she's a she this is sonia yo you look badass i like the jacket can i get that right you have like the little like mask thing going on reminds me of like gurren Logan. all right let's do one more one Moonlight summon, bring me the luck. If not, we might be doing at least two summons on the Amelia banner. And I might be spending all of my Sky Stones. I kind of want to save my Sky Stones for like another situation. Dang, I got absolutely killed. Yeah, no love for me from Epic 7. Oh, let's do our free summon right here. Yeah, I love summoning in Epic 7. I have a problem with Epic 7. Hence why I don't play Epic 7. Because I know I would do everything that I can. Look, let's just, let's just do two. Let's just do two. Let's see what's happening happening here oh it's a gold we got the little flashies can the right character on the side pop up can she pop up all right come on all right no this is gonna be terranor guard or terranor royal guard he's royal bro right right hand side all I want is a gold right hand side. Want her to appear. Yeah, I remember this guy. I think he got like a new form. He got like a special thingy. I, I forget what it's called. We got Helen again. 
Helen is a good sign. She brings the luck, all right? Helen, you're bringing the luck. Let's go ahead and keep clicking through. Oh, this is a new character. I haven't gotten this one before. Who is this? She looks like a pilot of some sorts. Godmother, interesting name. Oh, well, looks like I got one troublemaker to take care of. Look, I'm not trying to be a troublemaker. I just want, you know, Amelia. Aw, oh, man. No character on the right-hand side. Oh, I remember this, dude. This is Sid. He was like really good at being an assassin. He got one more summon left before I start pitying for her. I don't want to try to pity for her. Come on. Can we get some luck here? No, this is going to be our four star. Oh, I remember this Moonlight Dreamblade. That was like one of the, like the sexier, I guess, cards that you could get from the game. My gambler's fallacy is way, way too real here. We'll, we'll buy three more. We'll buy three more. I usually go like all in or nothing when it comes to like these banners. My princess connect luck is it was way too strong previously. And now I'm getting like hit pretty hard on Epic seven. Come on. Like, can we get something good? Can we get something good? No. Oh, okay, Hellcutter. I remember that card. All right, this is going to be my four star for this summon session right here or for this multi, another Moonlight Dreamblade. And yeah, that's going to be it. Well, we also got the Hellcutter. Let's go ahead and do some more. We got another gold. Very nice. These golds are actually not guaranteed, I believe. So just seeing a gold and it's already a pretty huge win in my book. I'm not sure why. Maybe that's another thing. Moonlight Dreamblade, another one. Oh, we got another one. Elihia's Knife. I remember that card. I'm not sure if any of these are pretty much used. Okay, we got another one. Please, Epic 7, stop playing with my heart. Just make Amelia come home. We went 10 multis deep for Rem, which I'm very happy with. Because 10 multis is not that bad comparatively, because I've hit Pity before and hitting Pity is not cool. Oh, who is this? She looks like another dragon character. Ah, uh, Melanie. She's like the troublemaker. Apparently, she makes Helen's life hell. So I don't know. Is this a good sign? Is it? I have no idea. What is this? Oh, we got the left hand side. Is this going to be Amelia's card right here? Amelia's card? Yep. Guardian Ice Crystals. Is that a good sign? Maybe that's a good sign. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to go ahead and buy one. We're just going to buy one. Yep. Let's go. I guess I didn't have to jump back into the shop. We got Helen right there. That's a good sign. Hopefully. Come on, Helen. Bring me the luck. We need this. Summon again. Summon again. Falling into degeneracy over here as I summon more and more so I can get my waifu. This is how it is. This is what Epic 7 does to me, man. I, I can't come back to this game. I'll end up like just spending like hundreds of dollars because I, I think a character looks cool. I don't even play Epic 7. Like, what am I doing here? Just doing all these summon sessions. Okay, Dust Devil, please. What's another one? Can I get, can I get anything good? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Give me Amelia. Amelia, please come home before pity. I don't want to have to pity you, please. No, this is a card. Okay, yeah, Kaladra. Is it over? No, right hand side. Oh, please. Who is this? Oh, I remember you. You're the one dude. You're Kwazu. You have like a weird name, but you're like a chief. Yes, is this it? Let's go. Come on. Yes. Yeah, this is the best. Yeah, we got Amelia before Pity. I thought I was going to join Pity Gang. Granted, like, I was pretty close to Pity. I'm pretty sure I was only like four multis away from Pity. But there we go. We definitely take those. We got five transmit stones, I think. Is that enough for one? Go ahead and do our Moonlight Summon because I don't feel like we're going to be jumping back in like this for a long time. So let's see if we can get lucky on this Moonlight Summon right here. Can it be something good? Por favor we got our five star i don't know what we're gonna be getting it's not gold so i'm already unhappy if it's that one character again okay so it's a different version i like the other characters coat a little bit better regardless i appreciate you guys watching today's video watching me go absolutely nuts on epic seven and this is probably why i don't play this game because i have zero self-control when it comes to summoning for characters because i just love like design way too much <laughs> anyways if you made it this far in today's video consider subscribing dropping a like leaving a comment follow me on twitch follow me on twitter once we hit 27,500 subs we're doing a giveaway good luck to you if you're an epic seven player and you're trying to summon for amelia and rem hopefully you get them before pity but regardless of the fact they are exclusive characters probably limited we don't know when they're gonna come back thanks so much hopefully i see you in another video have a fantastic day see ya